Good morning, everybody. I'm so happy to be back. It's Tuesday morning. Are you ready to sing our good morning song? Ready? Way up in the sky, the little birds fly. Way down in the nest, the little birds rest. With a wing on the left and a wing on the right, they snuggle down deep all through the night. Shh, they're sleeping. Then the bright sun comes up and the dew falls away. Good morning, good morning, the little birds say. Good morning, everybody. Let's sing I've Been Working on the Railroad. We've sung that one before, but I know you really like that song. Ready? <laughs> I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? Rise up so early in the morn. Can't you hear the captain shouting? Ready? Dinah, blow your horn. Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow your horn? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow your horn? Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Strumming on the old banjo, they're singing fee fi fiddly i o fee fi fiddly i o fee fi fiddly i o. Strumming on the old banjo. I know you know that song. All right. Today's story is, What Do You Do With An Idea? I know that you like this book very much. What do you do with an idea? And this book was written by, let's find out, Kobe Yamada, and it was illustrated by Mae Beesom. So one person did the writing and one person did the pictures. And here it is. What do you do with an idea? One day I had an idea. And there it is. Where did it come from? Why is it here, I wondered. What do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it. So I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I was worried about what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I, try I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit it, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid that they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. Then I realized, what did they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do, and it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. 
my idea grew and grew and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it would be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said it's good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. The end. But um bump. I hope that you liked that story. All right, I will see you tomorrow. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.